Now the second method is the countdown method. Well, the countdown method, uh, it is very easy. Like, uh, we need to count the number of large boxes between two consecutive RI interval. For example, if uh, in uh, if between two RI intervals there is only one large box, then the heart rate will be 300. If two large box, then 150. If three, then 100. If four, then 75. If five, then 60. And if six, it will be 50. Now, how does these rates come? Uh, let's calculate them. Now, we saw the first method where it was 1500 divided by number of small boxes between two consecutive RR intervals. So, if 1500 small boxes constitute 60 seconds, then how many large boxes will constitute 60 seconds? So we know that one small box equals 0 0.04 second. So five small box will constitute 0 0.2 seconds. Will translate into 0 0.2 seconds. 5 small boxes equals 1 large box, right? That is 1 large box equals 0 0.2 seconds. Okay. Okay. So, how many large boxes will constitute uh, 60 seconds? That would be 300. 300 large boxes will constitute 0 0.2 into 300. It will give you 60 seconds or 1 minute. So 300 large boxes give you 60 seconds. Now if you uh, divide number of large boxes by 300 that is so this will give you 300 divided by number of large boxes between two consecutive RR intervals I hope you understood that now let's have an example for the second method uh, second method also here we are going to see, uh, take the same RR interval uh, now con uh, Let's count the number of large boxes here. Yeah. One, two, three, three and a half. Okay, so it's neither three nor four. Now, if we see in the chart, three boxes, if uh, there are three large boxes, the heart rate will be 100, and if there are four large boxes, the heart rate will be 75. So we are kind of in the middle of 75 to 100. Let's say it's, it would be between 85 to 87. So by this method we can calculate heart rate is uh, 87. And if we calculate it by 300 divided by 3.5, we again get the heart rate of 
around uh, 85 okay 